The Rambam explains that from biblical point of view, Midoraita, one is not obligated to pray more than one fila a day. One fila a day, however he wants, he such says a request, he asks a Kadosh Baruch Hu for something, and that would be sufficient. But Chachamim came and instituted the time to say that filot. They added also how many tefilot prayers one should say a day, and also what should be the right version. That is all midrabanan at the time of Ezra and Bet Dino. They said that the one needs to pray shacharit, mincha and arvit. Shacharit, they instituted in accordance to what they do in Bet Hamikdash. They would bring a korban tamid shel shacharit. So for that they instituted shacharit. For the korban of Ben Arbaim, that's in the afternoon, the mincha time. They instituted Korban Mincha. And for the limbs that were not burnt, Evarim, that were not burnt then, they would put them still in the altar to burn all night. For that, they instituted Tfilat Arvit. They also said, when should be the time to pray? One can just pray Shacharit whenever he wants. There's time and there's limits. One also can say whatever he wants. They instituted 18 Brachot in the Tfilah, then later on, they added one more, Birkat Aminim, Shmuel HaKatan, added that in order to have 19th Berachot in the Tfilat Shmon Ezre. They afterwards added to that the structure that we have today with Baruch Shamar, Sukkot de Zimra, Ishtabach, Birkot Kriyat Shema, Kriyat Shema itself, and afterwards the things that we say with the Korbanot after the Tfilah, in order to have the set of the tefillah that we have today.